Did you know that design engineers use cardboard to see what their designs might look like in 3D? In order to make strong cardboard models, they use a number of strengthening attachment techniques. Let's have a look at some examples you could try in your own makerspace. The first technique I'm going to talk about is the flange. This makes a great base to a tower and is an easy way to connect cylinder shapes like tubes or pipes onto a flat surface. So cut your slits evenly with some scissors all the way around the tube. Then you want to fold back each flange and you can dab a small dot of glue on each and then you stick down and you can even tape it as well to hold it better and then pull off once it's dry. The second technique is the tab. This is another way to get your cardboard to stand up vertically. It makes a wall really sturdy. So you cut your slits upwards in the bottom and fold out the tabs in opposite directions so you don't end up with the leaning wall of pizza and stick. Use something weighted to hold the tabs while they dry. Rather than cutting into your cardboard to form tabs, you can cut out small rectangles like this and stick them either side of your wall. This works really well. Next we have the slot. So cut a slot halfway along one piece of cardboard and halfway along the other and insert them together to create an X shape. This could work as a column to hold up another layer of cardboard or you could even slot together different shapes to form a sculpture. Our next attachment technique is the slot and tab. This is a way to get one piece of cardboard to stick out from another piece of cardboard. It kind of looks like it's floating. So this semicircle is the shape that I want to stick out and I've cut a square tab at the bottom which is our attachment which is going to be hidden. Then I'm measuring how wide I want my slot to be. It needs to be large enough to fit the tab. Then use your box cutter or whatever tool you have to slice out the slot. You might need to carefully widen it with some scissors. And then you can slide the tab in. To make the attachment secure, you fold the tab underneath and I'm making a slit in my tab so I can fold it back evenly and my cardboard attachment will stand up straight. Then glue or tape and hold steady until it dries. I used this technique to attach some antennas onto my monster. Next we have the fold. So you could fold a single piece of cardboard to make a corner of your model. I'm using a ruler and a cutter to score the cardboard first so it's easier to fold. It does flap around at the moment so you might want to reinforce it with another attachment technique which is the triangular support brace or gusset support. So cut a few triangular shapes out of cardboard and glue them into place. They'll strengthen your walls where they're joined. Next time you're out, have a look at the buildings, bridges, even furniture around you. Can you see that triangle supports are used everywhere to build strong structures? Another really simple way to add strength onto the join or fold of a wall is the L brace. So I'm using masking tape and I kind of apply it halfway of its width and align the pieces together. This gives you a nice clean join on the outside. And I'm just going to fold that bit over but do cut it off if you don't want any tape to be visible on the outside. And there you have your attachment. Our next technique is called stacking. Good luck trying to bend this. Look at the strength it gives your cardboard. So cut multiple layers of the shape which you want in your corrugated cardboard and glue the pieces on top of each other in a stack. This is also an easy way to make 3D parts of your construction. Finally, I've got these lovely nuts and bolts. You might be surprised to see these, but nuts and bolts work really well as an attachment by providing a clamping force around your pieces of cardboard. So I've made holes where I want the join in my cardboard to go and I'm going to insert the bolt, which is the solid rod part, along with my washer. Then insert the bolt into my next piece of cardboard with the other washer and tighten with the nut. So the nut is our fastener. These squeeze together quite hard when you tighten them so we use washers either side of the cardboard so the nuts and bolts don't tear through it. If you tighten the nut onto the bolt, you'll be holding your cardboard firmly in one position. 
But if you leave it a little bit loose, the attachment will move with a swivel motion. Attachment for movement is something we'll go over in the next video.